Didn't, didn't see, see you there. there. Hi. <laughs> this is Erica Johnston and welcome back to my channel. Yes, my fingers are blue. I was dying some eggs today. Should I not put that in? Is that weird? In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about something very special. And we're back with tea time. Yes, we are back with tea time. Tea it's time. my two year anniversary. Well, you guys haven't really seen Clive on this. Oh so. yeah, that's true. So today I'd like to introduce you to my other son. This is Clive. Hi guys. And you all know Everett. He's been yeah. <laughs> featured in a few of my videos. Um, so we wanted to, to have Clive join us as well for tea time today. Okay, so I'm gonna have a little sip of my tea. Mm, yeah. Enjoy my tea. Mm. Thing that on it. Mine well, has the president's yeah. choice thing. Mine actually has, uh, what do you call these things? A must, fortune. Oh, a fortune? Yeah. Mine has a fortune. Okay, this is really <laughs> fitting, and I did not know that this was on my tea bag. It says, you must have self-respect. Only then can you respect somebody. Okay, we're taking... I just want to thank all of you who have been with me from the very beginning. Because I stopped. Stop laughing. Here you go, Mom. Okay. So when I first started, <laughs> the thinking man, when I first started um, dyeing my hair, no, <laughs> when I first started dyeing my hair, I was 16. <laughs> Let's go back to then. <laughs> Let's go back to when I was 16 years old. Mwah. So a lot of you wondered how old I was when I started thinking about not, no longer dyeing my hair anymore. I was in my early 30s but I just wasn't really ready then. And I remember I would probably say, that's it, I'm not dyeing my hair. And then I'd last like maybe max three weeks and that would be it. I would dye it again. <laughs> so when I was 38 years old, that's when I decided no longer, I give up. And you know what, boys? It was on our trip to Florida. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yes, we, we just, or, it was wait, on the do plane. you have clips of our trip to Florida? I do, I'll put some, I'll put some clips of, mm -hmm my hair the way it was. So we actually went back to Florida last week. I'm bringing you back to where I first decided to go silver two years ago. I am in beautiful, sunny Florida, loving this weather out of the snow and disgusting weather <laughs> in Toronto. So um, yeah, this is where I decided, made my decision and have not looked back. Well, that's not true. I look back a little bit, but um, uh, yeah. And we had a really, really nice time. Yeah. And it was mm -hmm. kind of cool because it was like literally... Because we were so much older now. We're so much older, like two years. Yeah, I was, a lot. I was seven. I'm older, I'm older. Yeah, so I just basically stopped dyeing my hair. But I've talked to you all about this before, about how I personally did it. So I used the root spray, L'Oreal root spray for three months, spray, 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 and I hid it. So this way I could, if I changed my mind and I didn't want to go through with it, I, ha I didn't tell anybody. And actually that's not true. I told a couple friends that I was doing it and, even, and everybody was skeptical at that point. And I actually had people say, oh gosh, you don't want to do that. You're going to look old. And what did you guys say? Oh, uh, you're gonna look like an old bat. No, did you? You didn't say that. <laughs> you, we said you're gonna look like a, a no, witch. At the beginning, we said you were gonna oh, look like you? a witch. Oh, did you? I didn't say that. I said that. You would never say that to me. <laughs> yeah, and then when now, I now that I see your silver hair, it's more of a a silver than a whatever that color was. In your imagination? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like the the witch from. Oh yeah, you said that before. Mom, from, from the Snow old White. Um, from Snow White. I know. Dad, good, I know what looks good on thing. you because every day you ask me what you should wear. What? Like you ask me what boots you want to wear. Yeah. <laughs> like, does this look good? It's like, no. I was my um, fashionista, fashionisto, yeah. whatever the male version is. He loves fashion mm -hmm. and and he helps me pick mm -hmm. out things, which is really cool. Everett, you're you're great with fashion too. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. I don't care what. It's I okay. Wear. We're all good at if different things. If you want to be wearing those Nike shorts you have. Yeah, this is a hand-me-down. Anywho, so after three months, I knew I was on my way, and so I went to the hairdresser and I got my hair highlighted. And again, I've told this story many, many times. The hairdresser did use toner, which kind of lightened. And over time, the toner just sort of faded to the um, yellowy blanche 
sort of color. And then at that point, it's just grow out time. You know, you just have to grow it out. And so my strategy was to chop, chop, chop. And that's why my hair is still short after two years because I've continuously chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 yeah. chop. Yeah, so I just got a, a final haircut. <laughs> I didn't cut off any of the length this time, but I just got them to kind of clean up the, the sides. And now my goal is to grow out my hair long. So, and I think there's, there's a, oh my God. Everybody. I think there's a real misconception about growing silver hair long. And again, we're going back to the idea of um, the perception of witches, I'd say, in our society and yeah. when you think of a witch you usually think of one with like, gray hair yeah, and long right long and scrag and a bit some people call this grammy hair granny hair anyway the the, the thing is my hair <laughs> <laughs> she's not a granny i don't think who me yeah better not be um sometimes i call you that <laughs> you call me granny she's only 40 no, you call me grandma yeah. when behind my behind my back at dinner once once what? Yeah. You said, hey, Grandma? Uh, grandma? We're in the car, I think. Grandma? Yeah, it was in Florida. Like, by accident? This week. No, I said that. Why? Because <sighs> I bought a couple of products uh, online. They are silver hair wig, like, extension, wig <laughs> extension things. So, for, for longer hair. So, I'm, I'm going to unbox that as soon as it arrives and make a video, which I'm pretty sure will be hilarious. Because I can't imagine that the silver hair will match but if it does that would be really cool so maybe i'll have well, you have to use it never yeah <laughs> well, uh, really... uh, what uh, i bought a straight hair one and a curly haired one so we'll see how that works <laughs> and i also bought another product too it's a curling iron thing that when you clip it in and you pull the hair down it actually curls it people already have that yeah so i'm like everyone Wee! has that so I bought one of those, so we'll try that too and hope it doesn't burn my hair. Oh, I'm just using heat Purple protectant. When hair. we went down south, I did use my Aveda, Aveda, however you pronounce Aveda. it. Aveda. Aveda. The Aveda. hair protectant. I used Aveda. that and I used, wore a hat. And I'm definitely noticing this, the yellowing that I had from the sun. I'm noticing that growing out. So that's what it is. Be really careful for warning you. Da, da, da. So... Uh, I'd have to say the hardest parts of, of growing your hair out are the times where you have special events to go to, like weddings, um, you know, parties, that sort of thing. It just depends. Like New Year's Eve, that first uh, year. What? Uh, New Year's Eve, I, I, I felt, I'm not going to lie, I felt really, really ugly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did. I really hated it when it was half, you know, the silver and then half of that orange color I just did not I did not feel attractive you have moments where you don't feel your best you know what just you just have to push through those days and don't give up I'm telling you even over the past couple of months I've still had moments believe it or not like almost at the two-year mark of just wanting to go back to brunette and I think that that's really normal but I I think I'm every single time I imagine the upkeep of it and it just is not worth it for me I can't say that I'll never ever dye my hair again. I don't know that. But right now, where I am in my life right now, I just, I, I can't imagine. I really can't. Like, the time that I get to spend with you two is precious. And I mean, you're almost 12, you're 10. You're falling asleep. You're turning into an old man before my eyes. Um, but yeah, don't let, don't let things stop you. If you're in a career, I've heard a lot of you say, I'm in a career where, you know, I need to look my best, I need to look professional. But I think that there's a lot of women out there nowadays that are transitioning. And I know for myself, when I was younger, in my 20s, if I saw a woman with, you know, an inch of growth, I, the, instantly the first thing I would think is, oh man, that woman needs to, you know, dye her hair. She needs to, to keep up with appearances. Yeah. Whereas now, if I see somebody with that inch of growth, the first thing that I think, I wonder if they're growing their hair out. I wonder if they're, and I've actually asked women, are you growing it out? You know, so I, I just think that, that Oh, just like the, the woman on the plane who came off the plane. Sometimes, sometimes I literally want to like stop people in the streets and take pictures of them. So I just want to talk to you about something that is 
uh, very serious actually for a second. I know we've kind of been joking around and everything, but you know, the struggle of growing out your hair is nothing compared to other struggles that people have in their lives. And some of you have written to me and said you've, you've you know, overcome cancer. Um, some of you are, are overcoming injuries. Um, I know some of you've done some of my workouts and you've got, you're suffering from some injuries and things like that. Good job. So, yeah, so I got a comment from this woman, her name is Erin, and she has her own YouTube channel, which I ended up checking out. And her, this is, oh, I can't even, honestly. This woman was a completely athletic woman. And I, I think of myself as an athletic person as yeah. well. Yeah, mm -hmm. And she was paralyzed from the shoulders down in a swimming accident on August 7th. 2016 so this is the same year same year that I decided to grow out my hair right so I think about this and I don't know I just when I read her her YouTube YouTube description um, I just realized how not shallow but how insignificant growing out somebody our hair is our natural hair is compared to this woman Erin who is learning how to walk again she's amazing and if you get a chance to check out her YouTube channel, I encourage you to do it because just watching one of her videos of her pushing herself, like you can tell that she's in like physical pain and forcing herself to walk, it just makes you appreciate life and appreciate everything that you have. So yeah, so just know that two years, it goes by in a flash. It's not a big deal and you know, there's other things out there that are more important. So, um, I guess that's all I really have to say. It's kind of a serious ending, but, um, well, we have to end off with that. We gotta end off a with happy something. happy ending. Yeah, we could end off with, with a happy ending. We all dance. Okay. Like out on Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> <laughs> Just dance. <laughs> so come sit down boys for one final goodbye to our dear friends on YouTube. Goodbye. Goodbye. We'll see you next week. Bye. I am going to push myself to make more videos, even though um, I've been very busy with teaching. And I'm going to do a little shout out to my students who found me on YouTube. Hello, students. You be good and you listen in class. All right. Until next week. Okay. Bloopers. Mom doesn't really need any. Yeah. Okay. Should I come sit down? Yeah. Cheese. Yeah, it's just a little dot, but it doesn't matter. Hi, Lee. Is this one blue too? It is. Okay. Hey, ladies. Oh, why are the cringy hi, ladies? Is it? Are my teeth red again? God. So this way, I could, if I changed my mind and I didn't want to go through with it, I, ha I didn't tell anybody. And actually, that's not true. I told a couple friends that I was doing it, and even, and everybody was skeptical at that point. And I, sometimes I literally want to Link stop people below. in the streets and take pictures of them. Take photographs of them. Also, with their sil no, also like with their silver hair. Like, if you would like me mom merch, me mom merch. Stop it. <laughs>